Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is November 8th, 2018. I am Quinicia Fraser. Tarleton's stock horse team wins a championship. A mass shooting kills at least 12 people. And the Stephenville Police Department joins the Bearded Up campaign. These stories and more are coming up next on Texan TV. In campus news for the second year in a row, the Tarleton State University Stock Horse team won the Stock Horse of Texas World Show Division II Championship Collegiate Team. Both Whitehead and Ty competed for Tarleton at the World Show this year. Luckily, both Whitehead and Ty have experienced it and were able to be a part of a team to bring home the title. They said it was a great way to end the season. In local news, according to the Stephenville Empire Tribune, local businesses affiliated with the Stephenville Downtown Merchants Association are sprucing up their stores in time for Friday's holiday open house. The event will be held from 5.30 to 8 p.m. The Blue Eyed Buffalo is one of several stores taking part in the event, and they'll be serving white Christmas margaritas. Other stores taking part in the event include Slim Pickens Outfitters, Willow Scarlet Ribbon, Silver Wings, Punchies, and Julie. Ends. In other local news, Shea Simpson, the Associate Program Director for Texas A&M AgriLife Research Corporate Relations, was named Agricultural Engineer of the Year. She received her section at the Texas American Society of Agricultural and Biological Engineers Annual Award Meeting in Temple. The award is given based on the leadership contributions to the sec Texas section sponsorship of association activities, employment of agricultural engineers, and many other contributions. Simpson is a Stephenville native, and she earned both of her bachelor's and master's degrees from the Texas A&M University in agricultural engineering. We're going to take a quick commercial break. When we get back, learn about the latest national and international news. Peacock's Restaurant has been celebrating for more than 45 years by serving hot, fresh, home-cooked meals. Burgers, sandwiches, chicken bread steaks, and more. But what you don't want to miss out on is the American-style breakfast It is served at any time. You can also ask us about our daily lunch specials Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. You can find us here at two locations here in Stephenville with our hours listed below. Come on in and enjoy your time at Peacock's Restaurant. And now for state, national, and international news from the Associated Press. In state news, four children from Lubbock County died in a house fire last night. The fire happened west of Lubbock. Deputies and other first responders found the children inside the home and tried to save them, but they couldn't be revived. The oldest child was seven years old and the youngest child was one. The situation is still being investigated. In national news, the 307th shooting of 2018 occurred last night in Thousand Oaks, California. Using a smoke bomb and a handgun, 28-year-old former Marine Ian David Long dressed in all black and opened fire during college night at a country music bar in Southern California. At least 20 people are dead. The shooter took his own life. Authorities say they're still investigating Long's motive. Authorities also said he had no criminal record, but officers were called to his home in April when deputies found him angry and acting irrationally. The sheriff said officers were told he might have PTSD because of his military service. A mental health specialist met with him and didn't feel he needed hospitalization. Law enforcement are investigating Long's home, which is five miles away from Borderline, the bar the shooting happened at, for any leads to employees and possible motives. In international news, Central American migrants in a caravan that stopped in Mexico are saying they want buses to help them get to the United States. The migrants say that it's too cold and dangerous to keep on walking and hitchhiking. According to Mexican authorities, nearly 5,000 migrants are staying in a sports complex. Almost 2,000 of those migrants are under the age of 18. 310 of those children are under the age of 5. For more national and international news, we take you to the AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. A gunman, a sheriff sergeant, and at least 11 other people are dead after a shooting in a Southern California bar. The shooting in Thousand Oaks, northwest of Los Angeles, happened late Wednesday night. 
Congressional Democrats are calling on new acting Attorney General Matthew Whitaker to recuse himself from the Russia investigation. Whitaker has publicly questioned the probe and became acting Attorney General when Jeff Sessions resigned. The White House Press Association is calling on the White House to give CNN's Jim Acosta his press pass back. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders says Acosta put his hands on the intern who tried to take his microphone. Acosta and CNN deny it. And Democrat Nancy Pelosi says she's confident she'll be the new House Speaker when Congress convenes in January. Democrats won the House majority, and Pelosi says there's plenty of opportunity to work with Republicans. Mike Hemp in the Associated Press with AP News Minute. We're going to take another commercial break. When we come back, we're, Charles, we're talking Tarleton football and Tarleton volleyball. Soup and more at the corner store is the perfect lunch spot. They have a variety of menu options, as well as daily specials and sweet treats to complete any meal. Check them out Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., right off of Stephenville's Town Square. All right, and in sports news, the Lone Star Conference Volleyball Championship tournament is tonight. The Texans will take on Eastern New Mexico at 730 in the Wisdom Gym. Also, Tarleton football is still undefeated and will take on Western New Mexico Saturday at 2 p.m. in Stephenville. For weather today, we'll be experiencing a high of 53 and a low of 33 degrees with a high chance of rain. This has been a production of Texan TV News, a product of Texan News Service from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas. Watch us live on Facebook and Apogee Channel 2.1 in the dorms at 12.30 weekdays. If you live off campus, tune in to Northland Cable Channel 9. You can follow Texan News Service on Facebook and Twitter and check out our website at texannews.net for more of the latest news. This newscast was produced by our Texan TV staff. Thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day, Texans.